Hello possums, we're back for another modern build. Here's the beginning of our little village, our single story bedsit house, basically. We're gonna come over to the other side of this little, um, I don't know what you call it, peninsula, not sure. And we're going to build another small house today and it's gonna be a two story. Again, wood, cobble, glass, again, quite boxy. And here is the layout for today. So pause that if you need to, take down your measurements. As you can see, it's quite small. The footprint for the second floor will be slightly larger. That's not unusual for some styles in modernism. It is also not unusual for some styles of medieval houses. It's interesting how that gets carried on. So we will need oak planks, cobblestone blocks, smooth stone slabs, and it has to be slabs, some stone slabs or stone blocks, birch doors again, light gray stained glass, sea lanterns, and cobblestone slabs. So again, I'm going to mark out on the layout which sections are made with which materials. So we'll start with the smooth stone slabs and it's one, two, three at the front, so just this little protruding bit. This is where our doors are going. And I'm gonna put smooth stone slabs here, but this is actually a window. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two. So this is the base for a window. Come along to the back. One, two, three, four, and that's oak. At the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, so a little C shape, and again, oak. And this remaining section is cobblestone. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two. So we're going to start with the first floor, obviously, and it is like that one, three blocks high. So we'll start with the oak panel at the front, build it up to three blocks. Now this is a smooth stone slab panel. We're going to build it up to the equivalent of three blocks. So I've marked three blocks with wool and we're going to bring it up to the top of the yellow, the uppermost yellow. There we go. We can get rid of those now. And now we're going to extend this so that it mimics the bottom one. Fill it in at the bottom. And now at the back, extend it by one, but only on the uppermost section. Now something a bit different at the back, we're gonna build the back oak wall up to two, and then we're gonna to top it with two rows of smooth stone slabs. And again, we're gonna extend that out one. We're also gonna extend it one at the end. So you end up with something that looks like that. And we're gonna put our doors in, birch again, and we're gonna to top them with two rows of smooth stone slabs. Extend that out one more, but only at the top, and then bring a row of smooth stone slabs all the way to the end. And extend it out by one, right the way across the end of that wall. And fill in the window with light grey glass. Right, round to this little cobble section. This is not a chimney, this is a stairwell, and it's going to enable us to link the bottom and top floors. So we'll begin by taking it up, you guessed it, three rows. Mm -hmm. 
then we take it up another three and finally two more and top that with cobblestone slab on the inside I'm putting in sea lanterns for lighting you can carpet it if you want I've put four in that little alcove and two in each corner of the room don't leave this as dirt work out what you want the floor to be I'm gonna make it stone slabs you could make it wood if you wanted um, I'd avoid oak now all the houses that I'm going to be making and that I have already made I have made in survival so I know that these are easy to do from a survival perspective some of the materials are a little harder to get they're a bit later in the game but the designs themselves are quite easy to do we're just going to take out a little piece of this monolithic flu <laughs> so come to floor level for the second floor one two three and one more at the bottom makes four right now we're going to make stairs so that we can easily get up and down and finish the rest of the build so cobblestone slabs and you're going to go up in a spiral there you go when you get to this one put one there now we've got to make a floor for this level, a ceiling for the lower one. Um, I'm actually going to make it oak because otherwise it ends up looking a bit strange at this section. So while it's not optimum, it's what we're going with. And bring it right the way along to the stairwell. Now, if you want, you can swap out these four for oak. It doesn't look too bad from down here. I would add oak there. I might leave that swapped out. On this inner row of smooth stone, we're gonna start there at the top of the stairs. So we've got one smooth stone slab there. We're gonna run the oak all the way along Till we get to the edge of the floor so we've got one smooth stone slab there and we're going to build it up to three but we're going to leave a gap of one there for a window now we're going to come along two and build that up to three as well now we could put the window in next but seriously it's easier to do the ceiling so we're going to come round the back wall and we're going to start by making a row of smooth stone slabs one beyond the wall. All the way around make sure you don't fall off and now a little bit of jumping you'll get started and you can do the whole of the roof now this goes all the way around so put it on top of your slab wall and take it out to echo this row here and now you just fill in the entire roof and now the large window begin with three panes of glass to fill in the gap we're going to take it out from here to the smooth stone slabs and all the way around until you reach here leave this one empty and bring the glass one two three now extend that to three blocks high and that's it that's our house done all we've got to do now is decorate it and there we have it completely finished 
little bit of simple landscaping. We've got a water feature, we've got some sugar cane. Keeping it simple and with a clean palette. Um, leaves to soften the edges a little. And I've left the back here a little bit wild. I quite like that, it's a nice contrast. So if we go in, very simple little downstairs decoration, bit of storage under the stairs, a little work cooking space and seating area for two with views of the icebergs. Come up here, simple bedroom with a little space for sitting and writing or having a coffee, looking out over the village. Bedside drawers with a lava lamp, maybe. <laughs> so there we have it, another little modernist house, not quite as small as that one, but still modest in its proportions. I quite like it. Let me know what you think down in the comments and I'll see you next time with a different build. Bye!